under the age of 30 participated in the last presidential election, according to civicyoung.org. We represent about 20% of all voters in the 2008 election. These statistics are shocking, not to mention unnecessarily low. I mean that our opinions are not being accurately heard. I am here to discuss how recent presidential administrations and companies have been trying to change these statistics by encouraging more young people to vote through many different media outlets. Politicians see young adults as potential sources for votes, especially Democratic politicians, because of young people's tendency to vote overwhelmingly, dem overwhelmingly Democratic, with 98% of their votes going to the Democratic Party in the last presidential election. That's more than two-thirds of the young votes going to the Democrats, which is shown through how young voter outturns rose in the election of 1992 and the election of 2008, which both resulted in the election of a Democratic president. Politicians have been trying to heighten their appeal to the American, <laughs> to the American youth through the use of Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and other social media outlets. Being a part of a social, me social media network makes politicians relevant to young adults and allows politicians to better convey their message to the young voting population. Politicians also, appear, also appeal to young voters by appearing on popular television shows, like when Obama was a guest on the Jay Leno Late Night Show. Politicians also target young adults by visiting college campuses and placing the ads on television channels that are very popular with young people. Politicians aren't the only ones who try to get more people to vote. Companies also sponsor campaigns. The WWE and MTV have, have added to the effort to get more young people out to vote with the start of numerous voting campaigns, which include Rock the Vote, Smack Down the Vote, and Declare Yourself. It seems as if these campaigns have been helping with the 2% rise in young adult voters participating in the last presidential election. If more young voters participated in the democratic process, issues that we find important will be changed. For example, about 50% of young adults disapprove of the war in Iraq, which, is, which differs from the national average, which is 42% disapproval of the war. Whether the message is coming from the right side or the left side, the underlying meaning is that voting is crucial to someone to be heard in this country. Thank you. Thank you. Nice work.